Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I am here to show you sewing in vintage. I love vintage style. Everything about vintage style is just very appealing to me. Today in this episode, I will be showing you how I made my 1950s inspired Hogwarts House Hufflepuff, of course, uh, vintage look for Halloween. So come and sew with me. So today, I'm going to make this pattern for my Hufflepuff shirt version V here. Now, this pattern was a lot more difficult than I anticipated to be. It looks like a simple dress, but there's actually several parts to the backing that I didn't expect to be as difficult as it was. I'll try to show you a graph of the pattern pieces, or the instructions rather. It reminded me of something from the 18th century with all the parts in the back and it, it uh, tested my knowledge, that's for sure. So I will show you in the video different things that happen and I don't recommend this pattern for begin, beginner sewers at all. It was a lot more difficult and challenging than I thought. Uh, step eight in the pattern, really, I never did anything like this before. I've been sewing for eight years now, regularly, and this part on step eight, a little plaque in the underarm part really confused me, but eventually got it, but I'm not 100% sure why it's there. Uh, I follow all the instructions though, because there's, there's a reason why it's there. You can leave it in the comments below if you know, because I'm not as skilled as I would like to think. It's been eight years, but still many things to learn. Always things to learn in everyday life. So come and sew with me and enjoy my first YouTube video. Thank you for joining, us, joining me. can see me finishing the seams which is an important step if you want to wash your garment so it doesn't fall apart in the washer and let's take a moment to listen to my nice vintage 401a singer machine I just love the sound that this machine makes it's so relaxing Thank you. 
Here we come to the gathering of the skirt. One of my least favorite parts of making any dress is gathering. This takes forever. As you can see, the dress is just about done. All I need to do is add the cuffs, collar, and buttonholes. As you can see in the back area, those are the panels I was talking about that I've never seen before in any patterns that I've done. And it was an interesting experience to do something completely new. But I don't know if I would ever do this pattern again, to be honest with you. A little more difficult and difficult to maneuver all those pieces and they were very unique and different pieces so we'll see maybe I'll try again now that I know exactly what I have to do but enjoy So I'm quite pleased with the results, even though I had some difficulties with the patterns, and, but I learned some new things, so there's that. And I just adore this hat, it's so cute. And the only thing that I would, or plan to fix is these cuffs. I was in a hurry to get this done, and they were a little larger than the sleeve was so I want to just take out the excess and make it look more well done and more professional looking and not just like where it's all pleated and ruffled up to try and ease the excess in that didn't really work too well but uh, that's for a mending day I guess Thank you for coming to my channel, and here's the pattern one more time if you're interested in making this. Uh, leave some pictures below of the garment that you make. I would love to see your take on this pattern. But like I said, I don't recommend that you do this as your first ever sewing project. Uh, wait till you have some more experience, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!
Mm -hmm. So we'll see if this goes well or if I feel like it. Uh, and there's the sirens. Uh, 